guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, I would like to address the fact that I'm sick while filming this, so if my voice sounds disgusting, <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I can't control my immune system failing. But anyways, today, as you can tell from the title, is another review video of an online website. This one is for Shein. Okay, I mentioned Shein in my Romwe video because of my conspiracy theory that both of these companies are the same thing. You can find the exact same clothes on each website. The layout of the websites are pretty much the same. They both ship from China. I have gotten clothes sent to me from the Romwe company and it has a Shein label. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're the same thing and they have like the same kind of factory or warehouse or whatever. And another thing that I mentioned in that video that sparked you guys' interest a little bit was that I said the things I got from Romwe have been good quality, cute things, but everything I got from Shein was garbage. And you guys kind of wanted me to elaborate more on that and why I've hated everything from Shein if the companies are the same. And so that's why I'm making this video today to show you what I got and why I hated the majority of them. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts about the company Shein, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with these pants. Because this isn't so much about the quality of the item, it's just I don't think it looks good on me personally, but I'm sure you've seen pants like this. They just button up the whole side. They look good on other people. Me, not so much. I think the cut of them is just weird on me. Like they cinch in a lot at the waist, but then they get so wide at the bottom. Like look how freaking, look how wide this is, why? And I think that's why I don't like them, but I'll put them on real quick. Let me just angle you downward and so you can see how wide these are. Like why are you so wide for? But I mean, the slit is kind of cute. Just, I don't know, man. I don't know how to feel about these. I try to put my hand in my pockets and there's no pockets. It's just, I feel my skin. They have pockets on the butt though. It's like, I think they're good, like in theory. Maybe not for me. Maybe I'm a taller person, but my five foot four, like it just doesn't, it doesn't look cute. Okay, so I'm gonna stick with like the pants category and try on these because I was thoroughly pissed off by this. Okay, now I got these in my normal size, which is a medium. First of all, sizing jeans like that, like small, medium, and large, is just like, I don't, why? Why do you do that? And they, I got a medium, but there's still like a lot of room in here. Like they, they stretch so much to where they just don't fit that great. Oh God. The thing is that on my leg, they feel fine. They fit perfectly fine. It's just, this is, is too big. So I always have to wear a belt with them, which I don't want to do. <laughs> and I don't understand because I got a medium. It's like, it fits as a medium everywhere except here, like where it probably matters most. But other than that, they're super duper soft. So soft. Okay, so we're gonna go for some black on black here. This shirt also pissed me off because I got my size and it's too big. God, just looking at this shirt like makes me mad. <laughs> okay, first of all, I feel like this whole area section is just too big. But then when you look at my arms, why are the sleeves so small? It just like hangs on me like a sack. <laughs> it hangs well past the bottom of my ass. Like why are you so big and then small? in the arms. And I have these like really cute like shoulder cutout things, but I don't even, I don't even wanna wear it. <laughs> it's just too big. Oh my God, I can't do nothing with these nails, man. Can't even button my shirt. Two hours later. Okay, Jesus Christ. All right, so this shirt, <clears throat> essentially, is supposed to be like a off the shoulder, white button up top. It, I don't even know what size I got. I'm pretty sure I got a medium, which is my normal size. But maybe I'm just too like big chested for it. Should I got a size up? Because it just, as you can see, it's pulling rather tight right here, which tends to make the top part want to go whoop. And the sleeves are cute, kind of. Um, maybe not, I don't know. They have this like ruched up, like fluffy-ness. And I feel like the material just feels really cheap and sounds cheap, like you can hear all my sounds. No, it just, it has no give. It's, it's tight, which is dumb because the mediums I got in those were too big. The medium I got in this was too small, I guess. I don't know, it just feels very cheap and looks kind of weird. All these clothes are making me upset. <laughs> I don't think any shirt disappointed me more than this one right here. It looks cute. It's like a yellow kind of floral crop top with these like bell sleeves. But when I put it on, like, <laughs> you'll see why I hate it so much. I can get these goddamn buttons off in the next two hours. Oh, I hate this. I hate it so much. It's so cute. Okay, so I feel like somebody tried 
to shove like a pig into my clothes. <laughs> I feel like a hot dog inside of a croissant, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> okay, this shirt is a one size fits all. Do not believe that shit. If you are over a size extra small or small, one size does not fit you, okay? Especially if you're me, who's got a, a big chest area. This shirt, the only give or stretch you get from this shirt is up here at the top. Like what, do people have like a fat neck? Like why do you need this to stretch so much? This down here doesn't really stretch that much. And the arms, I don't know if I just got beefy arms cause you girl goes to the gym, but this this right here is so, so tight like on my arms. And can we talk about how like weird these arm cuts are? Like let me, let me just, let me show you here. There's like, <laughs> It's like the shoulder seam and then there's this much. Is this supposed to be like where my elbow's at? Cause she's kind of off. I just don't understand the arms at all. Like where, what your, your seams are. Why would it be in the middle of like my tricep? And then fellow out into this like, thing. it just, it looks dumb because look how long my arms look outside of the shirt. I don't know why they went so wrong with this shirt because it's so cute. It's so, so cute, but there's no give at all. No stretch. I feel like a stuffed hot dog. <laughs> The material also feels cheap as shit. It feels like paper mache. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it feels like. That's the vibe it gives me. Okay, so these next three sets I'm gonna breeze right through because they're loungewear. She sent me some pajamas and I feel like the loungewear really is like the only place that she in exceeds. But let me show you. This first piece, I'm gonna put it on. Y'all guys are probably gonna judge me a little bit. You're gonna be like, what the fuck are you wearing? But let me explain. I look like the abominable snowman. <laughs> First of all, I know it looks kind of big. It looks kind of frumpy. When I tell you guys that this is probably the softest thing that I have ever put on my body, like I'm not even playing with you right now. Like this is so soft. The first thing you can probably tell is the arms are a little bit short. I don't know, that's okay though, because it's like pajamas, I'm not gonna wear this out. Maybe I just have like freakishly long bat wings, because that seems to be like a reoccurring trend in clothes that I get, is that they don't fit the length of my arms. Anyway, I don't care because these are pajamas, nobody's gonna see me in this but me. Okay, I bought this just for the cozy factor. I like to be super cozy. When I sleep, I love kind of bigger oversized things. And if it's fluffy, that's an added bonus because I am always cold. And so I got this just because I knew it was gonna be so toasty warm and it is. And it, it's cute, I like the little eyelashes on the, on the chest. Wait a second, it comes with a mask. This whole thing is just so cute to me. I don't, I don't know. I look like I'm ready to slumber. I look like a bear about to go into hibernation. Okay, it's cute PJs, get off me. Okay, so this next PJ set is like a short sleeve shirt with like shorts. So it's not gonna be as hot as this for anybody who's looking at this right now and already sweating. <laughs> now this one I'm not gonna have on for too long because it is dirty and I feel disgusting just because I didn't wash it before I filmed this video. Okay, so this is what it looks like, a short sleeve shirt with like some short. Definitely not near as hot as that other one is, but it's still cute and it's still so comfortable. The shirt, I got a size medium in both of these. This shirt is like really big and really roomy. I honestly could have went for a size small. And I just think it's cute. I don't know what it is about matching sets for pajamas. I just, I find it so cute. And I really like how this is like a classic PJ look. It like buttons up. It's got a contrasted piping. It's cute and it's soft and it's comfortable, but I'm gonna take it off because she's like really dirty. Um, I've been wearing it for the past like four days. Okay, the last thing that I have from Shein is just a pair of pants, so I paired it with the same shirt that I was wearing earlier. But they look like this. They're just like a gray ribbed sweatpant material, but they have like a skinny leg, and they have the like pinstripe down the side. They're super comfortable. Again, I got a size medium, which is what I usually wear. It's kind of big, honestly. It's got like a lot of give. I wear these all the time though. I'm one of those people that if I don't have to go to work, I cannot be bothered to get out of my sweatpants. So I wanted to pick up some more lounge pants. Well, there you guys go. That was my um, haul of things that I have been given by Shein. Honestly, Shein's probably not gonna send me shit after they see this video. They're gonna be like, we don't wanna further any more collaboration things. Okay, the majority of these items just, I have not liked. Okay, the quality of the items is just not that great and the sizing has been so off. And all the clothes that I was given, I'm pretty sure I picked a size medium, which is my true size in any other website. And the mediums have gone from being too big to being too small. It's like, what do you, what do, you do? It can, it can just be very confusing for anybody who tries to order from them. But I mean, it wasn't all bad. I think the pajamas are really good. Shein does a good job at making loungewear. But for the majority of the time, when people shop at fashion websites, they want to get things that they can wear out. So I don't know. They excel in some areas and they don't 
and others. At the end of the day, if you want to know my verdict on the website, would I spend my own personal coin at Shein? No. Just because all the things that I have been given were just such a miss in all areas. I just, I don't even want to try, to be honest. But like I said, that could be kind of confusing for anybody who wants to order from Romwe because like I said, you can get the exact same items on both sites and they have the exact same stock photos for each item. And the things that I've gotten from Romwe were pretty good, but the things I got from Shein were not. It's just... I don't, I don't know, I'm confused. The prices for the clothes on both websites is fairly inexpensive and so I feel like you're just, you're getting what you pay for. So do what you will with the information that I have given you. Make your own wise, educated decision. And yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot and also subscribe to my channel down below because I might do more reviews on clothing websites in the future. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!